In this tutorial, we'll see how to publish roles into Ansible Galaxy. If you want others to install your roles using Ansible-Galaxy role install command, you can use this method. For that, first you need to log into galaxy.ansible.com using your GitHub account. I have already logged in. If I go to my profile, you can see the authentication provider is GitHub. And in the another tab, I have already opened the GitHub account. Later, we'll create a separate repository for the role. And if you're going to use VS Code for committing the code, you need to even log into your GitHub account from Visual Studio Code. This I have explained in one of the initial video where we have seen how to integrate GitHub into VS Code. It was in the lab setup section, and we'll try to add this particular role into Ansible Galaxy. This role we have created in one of the previous demonstration. Here we are trying to configure Cisco iOS interfaces and we are passing the variables from here and we have even added handlers. Now first We'll create a repository. I'll go to GitHub. Click on new. And name should start with Ansible hyphen role hyphen. I'll go to VS Code. Here the name is intf underscore ip underscore config. I'll give same name there intf underscore ip underscore config and I'll make it as public create repository and here we need to publish an existing repository from the command line I'll go to VS Code I'll get into this directory pd19 then interface ip config so here we have all the roles file here if you want to see all the hidden files we can give ls hyphen larth currently we don't have any hidden files what i'll do i'll initialize git here git init enter and now we'll give the previous command now you can see this has created a hidden directory here now i'll give git add and i'll give dot so that it will add all the files and if i give git status so all these changes to be committed now i can give git commit commit message new role enter we'll go to github repository and we can copy this command enter the branch is main here paste it now we'll try to push this code to github i'll paste it here enter now this is committing the code to the branch main now i'll go to github page And here we can see the new files which I have committed and I haven't added any description, requirements, role variables and all. If you are doing it for production, you can update all these details in the readme file. I will show you the file. Inside roles, 
you can see a readme file you need to update all the details here now i'll go to ansible galaxy go to roles i'll give import role and here we need to give the github repository copy this name paste it i'll give import click on detail page you can see here it is completed now if i go to namespaces i'll give the name open the name and here we can see a new role has been updated i'll open the role and we can see the installation command copy this go to vs code I'll get into the main directory because my Ansible configuration file is located here. This will be reading inventory from lab underscore inventory file. All these also I have explained in the inventory setup demo. And here first we'll see the list of roles available. I'll give Ansible hyphen galaxy role list. Currently I don't have any roles available. And we can even verify that in the directory. I'll give ls home slash dot ansible slash we don't have any directory called roles. Now I'll paste this command. Enter. So now it is trying to download the role and installing it. So now I'm using ansible galaxy command for installing the custom role which I have created. Now we'll give the role list command. We have one role available. We'll verify the directory. We'll give ls home slash dot ansible slash roles. So inside that we can see the role which we have created. Previously we were using this role. Now we'll try using the new role which we have installed. I'll take a copy of this file. I'll rename this to 02. And instead of this local role, I'll change to the newly installed role. I'll paste it here. Now we'll try running the playbook ansible playbook 19 then 02 enter this role i have explained earlier we can take a look into that in the first task it is skipping r2 and r3 and this is running only on r1 we can see here this is running only on r1 in the second task this is going to run only on r2 and you can see here now this is using the new role now if you want to delete the installed role you can give rm hyphen rf home slash dot ansible slash roles and delete this directory and now if you try running this see role is not available now we'll see how to delete the installed role from ansible galaxy to delete the role from ansible galaxy first you need to generate an api token i have already generated one api token to delete it we need to give the command ansible galaxy role delete i'll go to vs code and paste the command here I'm giving Ansible Galaxy role delete. This is the username, the Galaxy username, then 
this is the repo name and i am giving the previously generated token before deleting i'll go to roles i'll click on the namespace and now we'll execute the command enter and you can see the message here the role has been deleted now i'll refresh the page so now it is not able to find the role in this way you can add and delete roles into ansible galaxy